Hi everybody, I'm Ryan Standish here at Unbound doing the 200 mile on Saturday, so tomorrow, and riding for Orange Seal, a privateer program for me this year, and on my Ventum GS1 for Unbound and, and all gravel this year. So let's do a do a quick lap of the bike. Start off Ventum GS1 frame, it's there. It's a small company based out of Beaver City in Utah, which is, I live in Salt Lake, so close close by. Rides well, I ride it on the road and everything too. Built up with full Shimano, or I guess this drivetrain. I've got Altegra RX derailleur with paired with GRX shifters, brakes, and then regular Altegra cranks with a 5236, and then cassette 1134. Last year I ran one by with a 36, and it was too big for the climbs. I think really? it's a little different. Um, not as much climbing this year, but having the 52 will be good because I think it looks like a tailwind coming back um, and to keep up with the guys, the SRAM guys who have, have the 10. So having a bigger, oh, yeah. little bigger gear with the tailwind will be good. And that's the DI2, the um, GRX slash Altegra RX DI2. Wheels, I've got some ride fast racing Roller 30s, which are their road and gravel wheel, 30 mil external and 30 mil deep with a 23 mil internal. And then I'm running that with a 40C Kenda Alluvium GCT, so they're like gravel protection casing, mountain bike Kush Core in there, so okay. a little bigger than the gravel one that Kush Core makes. And then orange seal sealant. Can you explain what the Kush Core is? It's like a little, Krishkor is a little foam insert so you can kind of run a little lower pressure and not have the, the impacts with, with the rocks out there for protection from pinch flats. Does it also help you to keep rolling if you do have a puncher? Like you, because there's the insert in that's there? That's kind of why I went with the mountain bike one because it's a little thicker than the, the gravel one that they make. If it does go flat, I could in theory ride, ride the rim. I'll still carry bunch of tire plugs to uh, try and get rolling again with with full pressure mm -hmm. I guess the rims are 23 mil internal so a little wide for road narrow for mountain bike and saddle I'm running the pro stealth uh, 142 mil with a Krieg saddlebag with a two co2s I think that's all I've got in the in the saddlebag and what I've got moving forward we've got the uh, Shimano XTR pedals and a 4i precision power meter. And a really loud noise. Yeah, that, loud noise. that wasn't the bike, but. <laughs> what do we got next? King Cage titanium bottle cages. I've never lost a bottle, so. <laughs> Touch wood, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that because you can bend them? Can you bend them in to make them really they just hold firm? It really tight from like out of the box. They're, yeah, they're really tight. Hold it, hold it well. Cockpit running the Synchros Preston SL X gravel bars. Forty-two mil or <laughs> forty-two centimeter wide. They've got got a little bit of flare to them as well. Garmin Edge eight thirty with the map loaded up and I'll switch between probably the map screen and then have a screen that's got time and power pretty much and distance. So that's the main ones there. What do you keep in here? Bag. Top tube bag, I go, got, gonna have all my tools in there and then run nutrition stuff in my pockets. What sort of tools do you take with you for the, because uh, you're doing the 200, 200, which is a long way. Yeah, I've got, I'll have a little hand pump in there and a multi-tool with a chain breaker, a spare, a quick link, and what other tools am I taking? That's it for, for tools. So this bike has got a pretty striking paint job. What's the story there? Um, so Ventum, well, I guess we go back quite a few years. My dad's got uh, multiple sclerosis, or MS, so the past, or well, working with, with Ventum, we did a custom paint job with TJ Eisenhart, who did all the all the painting, and I'm losing a bit now because we because <laughs> it's been muddy this past yeah, yeah, week. Yeah. Um, and so last year we auctioned one off to raise money for MS, and we'll be doing the same again this year, probably in a couple of weeks, to do um, auction one off, and then 
the one that gets auctioned can be in the person's size and can be sort of personalized for anything that's special to them as well. So. Brilliant. Well, I'm sure it goes without saying, followers here should come and follow you to find oh, out me. when the auction's yeah. happening. So I'll put uh, all the information yeah, in Ryan the link down below. Yeah, on, on Instagram and, and all that. But yeah, we'll be hopefully doing that, getting that all put together in the next couple of weeks. So. This has taken all the, <laughs> all the energy for the past month or two. So. Absolutely. Thank you very much and cool. good luck in the race. Thank you.